outside our seeing, beyond the beyond, at the edge of within. The Great Pyramid, erected by the Ancient Ones as a barricade at the portal between two dimensions, two separate realities. This is the story of one family drawn through a mysterious vortex into the other world and of their perilous trek homeward. On road. Must be right around the corner. Attention, mass pickup in progress. Please have merchandise ready. Attention, mass pickup in progress. Please have merchandise ready. Are you here for pickup? No. Then move on. Come on. traveled longer than ever before in this new world without coming upon a single province. How close were we to Imar? We didn't know. Finally, the trail of obelisks led us to an isolated city called Adore. Belisama blush? <laughs> like some kind of makeup. My name is Hal Sterling. This is my family. What's he talking about? We're looking for an apartment. You mean a dwelling unit? Yes, yes. Then why did you say so? Why don't you come with me? We haven't had any new women on our block for a long time. Where are you from? Uh, we're just coming from... Is he always this rude? speaking to him. He is rude. I've tried to train him, but just nothing seems to work. Oh, I see. Well, I'll talk to you about that later. Come on. It's very nice. I think we'd like to take it. Would you like to see the servants' quarters? Servants? Or will these men be staying in your rooms? Well, they normally do. What did you say your name was? June. June Sterling. And yours? Uh, my name's Gina. I must tell you that our neighborhood club frowns on intergender involvements. They do. Well, uh, this is my husband. We are a family. Oh, I understand. You're progressives. I'm well aware that these things are not against the stratification laws. But keep in mind that this is a conservative part of town, and we resist compromise. Of course, you'll both be at the block meeting tomorrow night. I'll have the rental contract drawn up by then. Everybody in this province isn't like her. Well, I 
I think we ought to be able to find some kind of a job for a man like you. I have a degree in engineering. Can you read? What? If you can't read... Well, of course I can read. I'm going to show these to you, one at a time. And you tell me what they say. You're kidding, right? Excuse me. Uh, how do you get in this place? You can't. It's against the stratification laws. You'll have to send your midget servant. I'm not a midget. Mom, am I a midget? No, of course you're not. You're going to grow up big and strong, just like your father. Unless we can't get any food. I can shop for us, Mom. Oh, great. Okay. You listen. I want you to follow this list exactly, okay? Why do I have the feeling I'm going to regret this? There's some cute guys at this school. Just show me where the chicks are. I guess you got your wish, huh? Hey. <laughs> I wonder where the guys are. Probably shop class or something. Hi. Hi, Chief. Hi. <laughs> some guys got all the luck. Snug as a bug in a rug. Very good. Smith! What is all this junk? It was all they had. You can go check. I'll bet you didn't even get Gina's beef jerky. Yes, I did. I got some steaks, too. What happened to my list? I couldn't read your writing. Dancing's great, kind of like karate rock. Who told you you could come in here? Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Gina, help! What's going on here? Does he belong to you? I... Uh, yeah, I guess so. You better stick with him, or he's gonna be in trouble. Got it? We got it. He flounders like a huge conjure eel in an ocean of dingy invectives and dismal vituperations. Oh, my God. You're smart and good looking, too. There are excellent opportunities for a man with your qualifications. He offered me a job as a vegetable waxer in a supermarket. Did you take it? Oh, Trace had fun today, too. Shut up. He got beat up at school by a girl. I was not. Look, first of all, there were two of them, and they were both bigger than Dad. I had to save him. You know, I think I like this province. It's all run by women. You can say that again. Men are definitely second-class citizens. Mm -hmm. Much lower than that. It's like they're a separate race or something. You know, they were surprised that I could even read. Well, no wonder. Guys aren't even allowed to go to school here. Hi. I'm Gretchen Askew. This is Sam. Hi, I'm... I know. You're June Sterling, the new lady on the block. I came to take you and Gina to our neighborhood club meeting. It's going to start in just a few minutes. Oh, listen, I really appreciate your coming by, but we just got settled in, so I, I think I'll skip it.